the end of week four is here. Great Monday night matchup, so you know what time it is. Another episode of All Smoke, All 32 with Aaron Givens. Now, first, I'd like to start off this episode with showing that I do have the pink and blue uh, ribbon on for uh, baby loss awareness. Um, I did lose a couple of kids due to miscarriages, and uh, I definitely want to uh, shout out to all the mothers out there, uh, fathers that were with the mothers at times during times of losing kids uh, before or after birth. Um, it's really something serious that uh, people tend to not deal with well. Um, and uh, I, I really just want to show my support and uh, tell everybody, uh, whoever dealt with or is dealing with uh, something like this, uh, we are behind you and uh, we love you. Now, football, street fight, 49ers, Rams, McVay only four and seven uh, going against the 49ers. And so happened to be that his fellow uh, opponent and Shanahan used to actually be above him when they worked in Washington. So McVay was like his little brother. And now you're looking at it. And of course, McVay has the upper hand in winning a Super Bowl and uh, being able to finally get over the hump and beat him uh, in the uh, championship game last season. But I can honestly say that we all see the big picture here with Trent Williams being out him rolling his ankle and uh, exiting the game, which I think honestly was a factor in the 49ers losing against uh, the Broncos last Monday night game. But see, here's the deal. If only one player on your offensive line is really causing so much ruckus and making people feel that's going to be the game changer, I say it shouldn't have been a game changer to begin with. I really feel that the 49ers really do have a squad with Jimmy G to continuously beat the Rams. The Rams really honestly have not faced too much of great talent only to play a honestly real one Super Bowl contender, and that's in the Bills. Now, when we're really looking at the meat of this game and we understandably so don't really have too much superstar talent on either sides of the ball when it comes to offensive. I mean, of course we got the uh, triple count uh, winner in Cooper Cup, and it seems like Matthew Stafford just looks for him every down. And, of course, we have on the other side uh, amazing superstar in Debo Samuel, which I feel honestly is arguably top five receiver in the league. Um, I just – feel that the 49ers know what they have, know what they had before they got Williams a couple years ago. And I feel that they're going to find a way to chip block, really use the running backs that they have to help keep the pressure off of Garoppolo. Um, it's going to be a close one like it always is. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be flags probably throughout the game with penalties and holds and 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 unsportmanlike conducts we know these guys really don't like each other they have a lot of the same players that played on the teams for the past few years um but you got to give me the Niners I really feel that they're just gonna find a way to continuously show why they are the better team in this division rivalry and they're gonna give us a good close game 21 to 17 that's all I have for this episode of All Smoke, All 32. And I can't wait to see you for my week four reactions and my week five Thursday night pit. See ya.